another day, another time to get serious. What's up everybody? Today we're actually discussing about something really, really dope. And you might be wondering, what is this thing? Well, for your information, that's my most favorite Sony Alpha 6500 lens ever. And you probably already guessed it, it's the 18 to 105 millimeter f4 lens. Before I get roasted in the comments, uh, I'll be giving you at least four reasons as to why this is my favorite lens ever. And even though I have the Sigma 30mm and 16mm 1.4 lens, I still use this 80% of the times. If you're not interested in the theory, you can just go for the end of the video because I'll be compiling projects I've shot in the last, I don't know, like 6 to 10 months by using only this lens. So that's something you don't want to miss because you know I like cooking up dope edits for you. Enough talking? Well, I'll continue talking, but you know the drill. Reasons why this is my favorite lens ever. So the reason one is 18 to 105 millimeters. That focal length is just amazing. You can get wide shots. You can go real close, 105 millimeters. And even though this is f4, trust me, even with f4, you can get a decent amount of bokeh and it looks so good. And some people say that above 50 millimeters, it's not as sharp anymore, but I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, if you just do a little bit of post sharpening, you can get amazing results out of this lens. So the focal length is just perfect for me. The second reason why I love this lens is because when you go from 18 to 105 millimeters, it stays at f4. This means that you don't have to worry about changing your ISO or your shutter speed. You can just leave it at f4 and that's it. Don't worry about a thing, basically. I really like that. I really like that. At first I thought it's not going to be anything special, but once I started using it, I realized how awesome it is. The third reason why I love it is because once you go from 18 to 105, this lens doesn't change its length. Some of you might be like, why is this a big deal? Well, for your information, you know that nowadays gimbals have become super popular. If you put a Sony Alpha 6500 with this lens here on a gimbal, this means that you can go from 18 to 105 without rebalancing the gimbal. And that is just amazing. I really like this little, where is it, power zoom here because sometimes I'm just, you know, on the gimbal using 18 millimeters and I'm like, Ooh, this could look good with 85 millimeters. So what I do, I just press this button for two seconds. I'm on 85 millimeters and I can keep working. I don't have to rebalance anything. This is exactly why I don't miss any moments when shooting events and weddings with this lens. If you would be using the Sigma 18 to 35, yeah, it's a fast lens, but you would have to rebalance your gimbal all the time, especially if you have the Zion version two or older versions, then you'll just have to rebalance every single time you change the focal length and that's a no-go from me. Fourth reason why I love this lens. Many people are complaining about this and I, I really don't see the reason why. It's kind of heavy. Well, it's not really heavy, but you can feel that it's solid, solidly built. The reason why I love this is because Sony Alpha 6500 is a really, really light camera. And once you combine this lens with that camera, you can easily balance it on all possible gimbals in the world and it just feels good in your hands because you, it feels like you're not holding a feather, but you're holding a proper tool. I just like that extra weight on me because it just it kind of gives me this feeling that the tool is more reliable. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. It just, it just happened. Yeah, I, I kind of broke this uh, like a half a year ago because uh, yeah, it fell down, but well, it still works. Fifth reason why I love this lens. Look, I told you I'm gonna be telling you at least four reasons, but I'm already past four. That's how good this lens is. <laughs> Fifth reason is autofocus. Quiet, reliable, fast autofocus. I love that. I mean, yeah, it's the cameras doing mostly, but just the fact that the autofocus is quiet, you don't hear anything is so good. This means that I can film an interview with this lens. If the interviewer wants to show something in front of the camera, he can just go forward with his hand and this lens will focus so accurately and quickly on that object. Then he takes it away and it will automatically focus back on their face. Sixth reason why I love this lens is because of the image stabilization. If there's a lens which works flawlessly with the Sony Alpha 6500, this is the lens because combined the image stabilization from this lens and the Sony Alpha 6500 IBIS, that is the most juicy combination I can ever imagine because even when I go 105, 105 millimeters, I can still get very, very usable and steady footage. Sometimes it even looks like I shot it on the tripod and that is good. 
and if I use the clear image zoom, it's above 200 millimeters, right? And I can still get a couple of seconds of usable footage when handheld, and that is just mind-blowing. Yeah, it's not as good as GH5, but it's definitely usable. So yeah, these were the six reasons why I really love this lens. Uh, but now let's talk about the practical part more. Before I actually show you the footage I have shot with this lens, I wanna speak about real life experience. So I've been using this lens for the last one year and a couple of months, right? It's still working. It, I mean, it has a couple of scratches here and there, but it, it's clean. It doesn't have any scratches on the lens, which is really good because I'm careful, kinda. <laughs> I've used this on weddings, events, different sports videos and even clubs where the lighting is really really bad. You know, Sony Alpha 6500 has a very good low light. Sometimes I even go up to 12,000 ISO and with a little bit of uh, denoising in post, it's perfectly usable footage. I've used this everywhere in the last one year and two months and I still use it almost everywhere. It's just such a reliable lens. I know that if there's an event where I know that I'm not gonna be having much space, I just take my backpack, I put my Sony Alpha 6500 with this lens only, and that's it. I'm happy. I can survive the whole day. I can get all the shots I need with just this lens. In weddings, actually, a funny story, I use this lens for 80% of the times. Until reception, when the lighting is kind of getting very bad, then I use my Sigma lenses. And events, I only use this lens. For example, this video here, uh, you can see it somewhere here, right? I'll leave a link to it, and this was 90% shot on this lens. Believe it or not, yep, that's how it is. And this video was shot like, I don't know, two weeks ago? And look, two weeks ago, still using this lens 80% of the time. I guess you already heard the reasons why I love this lens so much and enough talking, time to compile the projects I've shot over the last uh, one year and, I don't know, two or three months and show you what this lens is capable of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the compilation. Boom!